uh, the book of 2 Samuel divides itself spiritually in two sections. David's triumphs, where God was currently and presently blessing him, and David's trouble. David's son of Jesse was a man after God's own heart. And in his lifespan, or some 70 years, served uh, his own generation by the will of God. David stood out as a bright and shocking light for God of Israel. His accomplishments were many and varied. Man of action, a poet, tender love, he was gen generous, stern, dispenser of justice, loyal, and a loyal friend. He was all that man find wholesome and admirable in man. And this by the will of God had made him and shaped him for his destiny. David's triumphs, he reigned over Judah and Hebron, king, ruler of all Israel and Jerusalem. David troubles, David great sin with Bathsheba, we all know about that. Absalom, he murdered uh, his son two brothers, uh, Absalom rebellion and David reinstatement as king. We know that when God's spirit was in control of David, he had men devoted, he cared for the helpless, he confessed his own sin, his piety was shameless, his faith was radiant. But when David let selfish desire control, he failed to restrain Joab when he should have, uh, he was beautiful with captive. He would not admit error, and he practiced deceitfulness. His sin was hideous. So 2 Samuel leaves us with an appreciation for the greatness of David, but also realization of his human weakness. If there is to be a king who will dwell forever on the throne of David, it must be one who is greater than David. If David is the best king who ever ruled over Israel, then God will have to provide himself a better king. And he did. And his name is Jesus. Second Samuel emphasized that all sin, whether in king or commander, whether in high or low, whether in the godly or the godly, listen, certainly brings its bitter fumage. Sin is the destroyer of prosperity, and we must remember what goes around, comes around. If we commit sin, let us repent unto God, and he will justly forgive us, but we must endure the punishment. Amen. Amen.